from now I just want to share with you the word that I believe the Lord is saying to us number one individually Number two is the house of worship and healing. And as deliverance church. We don't operate in isolation. We operate and uh, deliverance church through our leadership. Through our bishop, uh, our, our general overseer bishop, Dr. Mark Karioke. Yeah, as and, to Dr. Makariuki. and every beginning of the year, we normally get a guiding word from our general overseer. And that is one. And then we have a word from God for us as the body of Christ and as a church. And I want to share with, that, with you that now. Then after I have done that, that will be about 10 minutes or so or 5 minutes to the ushering in of the year according to your watches then we will have a powerful moment of praise we will usher in the year 2015 with the praise because David says I will enter his court with that giving, and I will enter his, his, his what? I'll enter his gates with that giving, I'll enter his courts with praise. Amen. Amen. And then after that, that will take us for the next 20 minutes or 30 hours. We will have prayers. We will pray for the, our lives, our families. We will pray for this nation. We will pray that the year 2015 we will be guided and led by the Spirit of God. And then we will continue with the other things. So that means right now it's a very, very important session. Amen. Amen. Now you don't have to, to, to I, I, I don't know whether this light is enough for recording and that is why I wanted this uh, about to be done. But as they prepare themselves if it is going to work because I doubt whether that, 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 that there is enough right for recording right now. I just doubt. But all the same is shut out for the sake of this message because it is going to be the message for the new year. I want you to this opportunity to welcome all of you into this altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Please come to somebody, give them high power, tell them, tell them, welcome into the presence of the Lord. Tell them, welcome to the house of worship and healing. In Jesus' mighty name. I know we have people who have made our visitors who have never worshipped with us. How many visitors we have? Let me see. Yes. All those who are our dear visitors who have come to come here with us. And by the grace of God, I happen to be the pastor around. Amen. Amen. And we have been here for the last eight years. This is our. This uh, we have been here for six years. This is our our ninth year at, uh, as a whole as house of worship and healing. And this is our seventh year. And we welcome you, so we are not strangers. Amen. Amen. How many are with me? Blessed be the holy name of the Lord. We are not strangers. Amen. Amen. I have not, I have been a pastor now for the last 20, 
I think 24 25 years. And I am blessed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How many are together with me? Amen. Every Sunday, we have a service from 7 to to 8 30 for all the workers in the church and then we have the first service which is at 10 30 from 8 30 to 10 30 and then from 11 to 1 to 1 we have the, 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 that service we welcome you to any of those services and I assure you will not you will not regret we are people who value the word of God. We value prayer, we value worship. Three things that if you come to the house of worship, you'll never miss. Prayer, worship, and the word. Amen. Amen. How many are here? What I'm saying, bless the name of the Lord. And that is why I believe the church exists. And to the glory of God, we have been, we have seen the favor of God walking with us even over the years. You have welcome to watch our going beyond program in the Kingdom TV. Every Tuesday at 10 at night. And Wednesday uh, 1 in the afternoon. We have a program going on beyond program which has been a big blessing all over this country. And we intend to move on with that program. And we intend to get more and more into the media. I believe that the airwaves of this country must be uh, must be saturated with the word of God. There must be a real word that is moving across the airwaves of the nation. And that is our mandate. In Jesus' name. But I, I, I can we go ahead now? Okay, in Jesus' name. No, I, I do our recording in Kiswahiri and in English. I know many people in Nairobi understand English. But I don't record for the sake of the Nairobians people around. I also record for the sake of my mother. My mother never went to school. And that does not mean that she is not born again. Amen. I think of my mother who took me to church when I was young. And I would want her to benefit from the word of God. That is why I don't capitalize on preaching in English alone because I know that the English is not our 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 is a foreign language in this country. I am not so proud to talk English anyway. I don't feel sophisticated when I preach in English. I don't like it anyway. But we have to have a means of communication. Hey! Okay. What is God saying? About the year 2015. I have two different kinds of words. Let me start with the word God is saying. Bishop Dr. Nakari had God gave him for the church. The year 2015 is the year of uncommon harvest. The year of uncommon harvest. That word uncommon it means Something that is common is something that is ordinary. 
Jesus. And that is very, very much important. Now, the second word. Neno la pili. That is the first word. Hilo ni neno la the second word. Neno la pili. Is the word that I have read in my spirit. Neno to us. As the house of worship. To us as individuals. To us as families. To our children. To as they go to school. I had the Lord pray in me this word in my spirit. And I show you on Sunday. That I have this kesha tonight. I am dedicating this one to this kesha. Because I believe God is saying it is time for bountiful. Now the amazing thing, these two words are, are matching. Now come with me to Psalm 65 verse 11. Psalm 65 verse 11, very fast, different priests. One, two, three. That is in the NIV. Everybody read with me. One, two, three. You crown the ear with your bounty and your cuts overflow with abundance. Somebody say again with me. You crown the ear with a bar with the bounty. You crown the ear with bounty. And you are of the same. One, two, three, everybody read with me once again. Thou crownest the ear with thy goodness and thy path drop fatness. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, number one, he says, this is David. He is seeing into the contents of his ear. The Lord will crown my ear. The Lord shall crown my days. God will crown my ear. Can I say something? The Lord will crown the year 2015 for you. And finally, he will take the crown and put it on the head as the last thing on his head. It is a crown. It is a symbol of authority. It is a symbol of rulership. It is a symbol of dominion. Now, God will crown you are here. Number two, it means something given liberally. Number three, the word bounty, it is a word given by the government for performing a service. If somebody does something good to the government, he is given a reward. That reward given by the government, it is a bounty. We serve a better government than the government of Kenya, and it is the government of heaven.
maisha yako na mwaka wako na that is his promise kwa sababu ni ahadi yake that he will crown the year with the bounty ya kwamba tafika mwaka wako na utele may you receive bounty in the year 2015 
in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember Peter and the miraculous catch of fish? Do you remember the story? You have caught any fish? We have nothing. You know we have four. We eat fish all night and we got none. So what did Jesus say? Yes, Throw your net on the right hand side. What happened? One hundred and seventy fish. They came. They came. They 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 caught them and put them in their ship until the boats were sinking. Wakawana sa sabaki mia moja na msini na watatu wakawaweka kwenye meriche biya boke kwa inazama. And you know the reason is because in the Sea of Tiberias there were one hundred and fifty-three different kind of fish. Now you know the reason is because the boats catch the sea were Tiberias. They were also about catching the sea. Who are also 